Hey everybody, I'm out here to demonstrate to you how empty the solar system really is. I'm going to do that by showing you the distances between planets to scale. Now the actual distance between the Sun and Neptune is 4,497 times 10 to the 6 kilometers. And the radius of the Sun is 695,000 kilometers. Those are pretty big numbers. So for this demonstration, I'm shrinking the size of the planets as well as their average distances from the Sun by 1 5 billionth. Now we're gonna start here with the sun. Its actual radius is, like I said, 695,000 kilometers. On the scale I'm presenting you with today, it is 139 millimeters. More than 99.9% .9 of the mass in the solar system is in the sun. And pretty much all the visible light in the solar system comes from the sun. Now our next stop is Mercury, the closest planet to the sun in the solar system. Yeah, this is Mercury. It's the little dot right there. Not the green thing. Obviously, you know, planets aren't square. But it's that little dot. As we've learned in class, Mercury is not only the smallest terrestrial planet, it is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury has an actual radius of 2,440 kilometers, and its average distance from the sun is 0.387 AU. On this scale, Mercury's radius is really small, only about 0.5 millimeters, and its average distance from our sun is about 38 feet. Our next stop is Venus. Uh, here's Venus. It's, uh, it's also pretty small, a little bigger than Mercury. Its actual radius is 6,051 kilometers with an average distance of 0.723 astronomical units. On this scale, Venus's radius is about 1.2 millimeters. Its average distance is around 71 feet from the sun. Off to home sweet home, the planet Earth. Well, here's Earth. Uh, it's still pretty tiny, a little bit bigger than Venus. Its actual radius is 6,378 kilometers. And its average distance is, of course, 1 AU, or 149.6 times 10 to the 6 kilometers. On this scale, Earth has a radius of about 1.3 millimeters and an average distance of 98 feet. All right, on to Mars. All right, here we have Mars. It's the last of the terrestrial planets in the solar system. Mars is smaller than Earth and Venus but it's bigger than Mercury. It has a radius of 3,397 kilometers, and its average distance from the sun is 1.524 AU. On this scale, Mars has a 0.7 millimeter radius, and an average distance of 150 feet. Now before we move on to the Jovian planets, let's take a look at how far we've come already. It's, now I forgot to turn back around the sun, but it's that wide board right there in front of the uh, power supply. That's the sun, and this is where we've come already. Well, here's Jupiter. It's the first of the four Jovian planets in the solar system. As you can see, it's uh, quite a bit bigger than the other planets, not uh, near as big as the sun. Its radius, its actual radius is 71,492 kilometers. So it's, um, and it's also pretty far away from the sun at 5.203 AU. On our scale, Jupiter's radius is about 14.3 millimeters and its distance is 511 feet or 0.097 miles away from the sun. All right, we'll go on to Saturn now. All right, we have Saturn here. It's the second largest planet in the solar system with a radius of 60,268 kilometers and is 9.539 astronomical units away from the sun. On this scale, Saturn has a 12.1 millimeter radius 
and it is 0.177 miles away from the sun. All right, we'll move on to Uranus. Now this up here, it's not a, uh, a black hole or anything. It's just a drainage ditch, and uh, obviously we have to bypass that, so let's go over here to the left. Here's Uranus. It has a radius of 25,559 kilometers and lies 19.19 .19 astronomical units away from the sun on average. On our scale, it has a 5.1 millimeter radius and it's almost 0.357 miles away from the sun. Our last planet is Neptune. Let's go check it out. Here's Neptune. It's the last planet in our solar system. It's the smallest of the Jovian planets. It has an actual radius of 24,764 kilometers, and its average distance from the sun is 30.06 AU. On our scale, its radius is about five millimeters. It is about, it's also about 0.559 miles away from the sun. Well, I guess, let's go ahead and look and how far we've come. Kind of between the, kind of between the, the bushes over there, you can kind of get an idea of where we started our journey at. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, that we started in front of that power box. Way down there, that's where our sun was in front of. And uh, here we are at Neptune. But um, I guess we do have one more stop to make though. Uh, let's, go, uh, let's go a little farther. Well, here's Pluto. It's, uh, again, it's like Mercury. Obviously, uh, Pluto is not uh, square. It's that little dot right in the middle. That's Pluto. Uh, it's not a planet anymore, but we don't want to leave it out. A lot of people are still upset that it isn't uh, a planet anymore. It's uh, kind of a fan favorite. Uh, but now it's considered a dwarf planet, and it is really small. Its actual radius is uh, only really 1,160 kilometers and it's pretty far away from the sun. It's uh, 39.48 AU. On our scale, its radius is about 0.2 millimeters, and we are physically 0.734 miles away from our sun. So, I hope I've been able to demonstrate to you how, how empty the solar system really is. It's, there's not much in it. As big as the planets are, they are nothing compared to the vastness of the space that surrounds them. All right, thanks guys.